What's up, high school string players? Uh, I'm gearing this video up for string players around eighth grade and up, or maybe Suzuki book four and up. This is gonna be a bit of a ear training test for you. We're also gonna do some rhythm things, and we're working on a blues progression over a rock beat. It sounds something like this. <coughs> sounds like that, all right? Um, First of all, I'm going to show you how I play. One way that you can play this blues progression, you may have learned this from me before, you, but you may not. It's kind of fun. It's a fun thing that you can do on cello or violin. So what we're going to do is, let's just get the open strings first, all right? And I'm going to call it out to you. So we're starting on D and A, okay? And we're going to do like this. One, and just jump in with me. One, two, and three, and four. Just do that with me. Now we're going to go to G and D. Back to D and A. A and E. G, D. Let's do that one more time. Here's the top. D and A. Now we go to G and D. Back to D and A. A and E. G and D. What you might want to do is rewind and go back and grab that again just to make sure you really got it by the way i didn't mention this before but you probably want to make sure that you've pressed record on your video uh on your phone or on your tablet however you can make a video of yourself so that you can review your work later and submit your work to your teacher for credit all right so if you need to go back and review that now the next level of this is that we're going to add So I'm only putting my first finger down on the open A, on A, but I'm keeping D ringing. And then we do this, so I want you to get that first. Play that. Now do it on G and D. Play that. Now play it again on D and A. Play that. Now for A and E, I put my first finger down on the G string on A and E. Can you get that? And then you're gonna put two down only on the D string. Can you do that? And then you go back to the G, play that, and then D and A. So we're gonna put it all together. I'm gonna to call it out. We start on D and A, ready? One, two, three, four. G and D. Back to D and A. A and E. G and D. D and A. Again, top. G and D. Back to D. On A. That structure is called a 12 bar blues. And so, and a lot of times people will refer to this as the one and the four and the five chord. And all you need to think is if we're in D, then D we can call one. And then we can call one, two, three, four is G. And then one, two, three, four, five is your A chord. So we're going between, we're building chords around each of those root notes, the D, the G, and, and the A. And that's your one, your four, and your five chord. And a lot of times when a blues progression is created, or a lot of music that's in pop, a lot of uh, rock, pop music, R&B, might be based around one, four, and five. Just a little bit of theory there for you. Now, um, while we're at it, let's look at the bass line. We may have done this before. I've got another blues video with, with more of a, um, a triplet bass rhythm, and this is more of a straighter rock and roll rhythm. Um, and this has a more tricky bass line, so I just want to show you what I'm doing for that bass line. I'm doing... So we can do that. So that's a high two on D and a low two on A. Let's just see if we can get that. Then G, back to D. D 
था And those are all the parts, so if you really wanted to be fancy, you could play the bass part, and you could also play the other part that I showed you, which is, that's basically what I have on the loop. The only other thing I have in the loop is where I play a little bit of a chop, and the way to do that is cover your strings with your fingers lightly, very lightly, not hard enough to make a pitch, just let your fingers fall. And then with the windshield wiper, and a little bit, a little bit of a drop and a little bit of a drag. And I'm aiming for two strings, right? You might have done this with me before. If you aim for the two higher strings, it's a brighter sound. So that's pretty much, those are all the components of my loop. And now what I want to do is I want to ask you to try to play back to me. I'm going to try to play some lines, some melodies over this blues um, progression and ask you to play back to me what you hear. Uh... You play that? So you're just going to play the line back me. kind of tricky. I'm going to play that again. I'm going to show you one more time and you see my fingers. Okay, one more chorus. Hey, thanks for being a good sport about that. And I would definitely encourage you to go back. You might think that some of these lines, they don't sound that technically difficult, but they could be hard to hear. And that's normal. If you're experiencing that, if it's hard to hear it the first time, it's because they're not classical lines. They're probably melodies just with slightly different nuance, different rhythmic nuance, and different um, melodic nuance than what you're used to. So this is a great way for you to expand your ears, especially if you've played a lot of classical stuff. It's a great way for you to pay attention to all the aspects of how you play your instrument from the left hand to the right hand, because it's going to ask you these, these uh, situations, these musical um, challenges are going to challenge you to come up with solutions. So I really hope you have fun with it and also that you're gonna be able to discover things. So feel free to rewind, go through it again. And as always, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this. And I hope to see you on another video soon. Until then, happy practicing.